We can't change how divided we've been. It was a long time in coming. But we can change how to move forward on COVID-19 and other issues that we must face together. I recently visited New York City Police Department days after the funerals of Officer Wilbur Mora and his partner, Officer Jason Rivera. They were responding to a 9-11 call when a man shot and killed them with a stolen gun. Officer Moore was 27 years old. Officer Rivera was 22 years old. Both Dominican Americans who grew up in the same streets that they later chose to parole uh, to uh, patrol as police officers. I spoke with their families and I told them they were forever in debt for their sacrifices and will carry on their mission to restore the trust and safety of every community deserves. Like some of you that have been around for a while, I've worked with you on these issues for a long time. I know what works. Investigating crime prevention and community policing, cops who walk the beat, who know the neighborhood, and who can restore trust and safety. Let's not abandon our streets or choose between safety and equal justice. Let's come together and protect our communities, restore trust, and hold law enforcement accountable. That's why the Justice Department has required body cameras, banned choke calls, and restricted no-knocks warrants for its officers. That's why the American Rescue Plan that you all provided $350 billion that cities, states, and counties can use to hire more police, invest in more proven strategies. <clears throat> Proven strategies like proven strategies like community violence interruption, trusted messengers, breaking the cycle of violence and trauma, and giving young people some hope. We should all agree the answer is not to defund the police. It's to fund the police. Fund them. Fund them. Fund them with resources and training. Resources and training they need to protect our communities. I ask Democrats and Republicans alike to pass my budget and keep our neighborhoods safe. And we'll do everything in my power to crack down on gun trafficking of ghost guns that you can buy online, assemble at home, no serial numbers, can't be traced. I ask Congress to pass proven measures to reduce gun violence. Pass universal background checks. Why should anyone on the terrorist list be able to purchase a weapon? Why? Why? And folks, ban assault weapons with high capacity magazines hold up to 100 rounds. You think the deer are wearing Kevlar vests? Look, repeal the liability shield that makes gun manufacturers the only industry in America that can't be sued. The only one. Imagine had we done that with the tobacco manufacturers. These laws don't infringe on the Second Amendment. They save lives. 